Have you ever had someone say something mean about you on the internet? Have you ever said something on the internet and had someone respond to what you said on the internet with something mean to say about what you said on the internet? As someone that doesn't have to put their profile picture up or put their full name or their real name or a picture of their real face out there, it can still hurt. But as someone that has to put their real name and their real face out there, it starts to hurt a little bit more. And it starts to hurt even more when you're a professional athlete trying to do your very best to entertain a fan base. And then a comment section just lights you up consistently and repeatedly. And so typically a coach or a mental coach or someone that just really cares about you will tell you, hey, stay away from the comments, stay away from it altogether. You don't need that. You know who you are. You know what kind of competitor you are. You are the man or the woman. You are awesome. You are great. And typically that is the path that athletes follow. Is that the path that Bobby Fink follows though? Does Bobby Fink read swim swam comments? And how does Bobby Fink feel about those swim swam comments that are a little bit mean to Bobby Fink? So, I mean, on the topic of swim swam, um, yeah. you know, media and swimming, I think is still kind of coming into its own. Yeah. And I think really like your like 1999, that like generation where we're at right now yeah. is like I would say the first generation like outside of like a Phelps where you get mm -hmm. a ton of NBC and ESPN coverage because you're yeah. trying to win eight gold medals. Yeah. Um, it, it's I feel like we're in a spot now where media is starting to become like a real mm -hmm. thing and something that like athletes have to start to figure out how to adapt to and like yeah. understand yeah. and figure out how to use mm -hmm. in terms of like your own consumption of predictions and stuff. I was surprised that you were looking at Swim Swam's oh, articles. I love Swim Swam. Like I go through the comments and everything. It's so it's so funny to me. There's oh man, there's this one commenter that like every time I saw it, I I just I just love it. I think their name was Weinstein. It, it was like the uh, girls four by two relay. It was like Weinstein's all the hyphens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they yeah. Would always be <laughs> trashing on me. Like every like every prediction site, they're always trashing on me. I'm like, thanks, man. <laughs> I mean, that's, no. hey, that's a great perspective to have on it because, yeah. I mean, you can let it consume you or you can just look at it and be like, this yeah. is hilarious. One of my, my favorite things to say to anyone when, you know, people are like, oh, I just, you know, I don't know, like this person, that person, people are expecting this. I'm like, dude, when you're 85 years yeah. old, <laughs> is it going to matter? No yeah. one is going to care. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I mean, it's, it's great to see that you have that outlook because yeah, I mean, I think media is starting <laughs> to get like a lot more interesting in swimming. And I mean, yeah. especially it's like why I brought up that first question at the mm -hmm. beginning of our conversation with like leading up to this world championships, it yeah. felt like this mile and the 800 yeah. were like the races yeah. to watch, which like normally, like, like you were talking about, you're like, yeah. we're going to run a commercial during my yeah. race. Yeah. And luckily we're starting to at least see the side by side. And this time we got the whole race, yeah. which if they had gone they away knew. from that race, <laughs> I would have been so upset. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's, it's great to hear that you have that perspective on it mm -hmm. and that it's like something that you can sit there and laugh at. Um, no, so yeah, I, 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 that's I, great. I love the comment. <laughs> No. That's awesome. Hopefully, we yeah. get some good comments on this one. Go go nuts in the comment section on. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Call, telling Bobby that he's he's never gonna I, amount I, to I anything. Mean, funny. <laughs> I, I love him. I, I need more trash talk down. I hope it is is like is like I, I guess like pretty controversial. Like what's going on now with uh, Kate Campbell or whatever. I yeah. I think that's a good thing though. Like it's it sparks something um, to for for the countries and, and media. I, I think that's like there there needs to be more of that um just because you know it, it brought a lot of publicity all of a sudden to, to us again like worlds ended and like publicity like died pretty much a little bit but all of a sudden it just came <laughs> skyrocketing back with uh with with kate um and i, yeah. I been, and she seemed like she was joking in it to me like it was just funny to her. like <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I think I think we need more of that because like when we look at like the big sports like football or, or even um, like NBA, the, the whole thing between um, Kobe Bryant and, and Shaq, like they're the same teammates, but they're trash talking each other a ton. And, and that, that kind of like love, hate, like brotherly love relationship they had. I, I think like because those, those are that's what gets headlines and stuff is like a lot of trash talking. Um, and as long as it's like healthy, I guess, you know, like no one take it too far. No one be like actually just like rude and just for no reason. <laughs> yeah, just like no reason for that. But um, yeah, no, it's, I loved all the comments coming after that too. It was just like, we're going to bring in a giant cowbell now and just start 
<laughs> yeah, for now. <laughs> yeah. But. yeah. I mean, I'm I'm on board with it. And obviously, like I'm biased because I, I saw the numbers on, yeah. you know, those videos and the, the comments that were being made. And I was like, yeah. you know, this is a very, very small thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. she the, she went in on us. Yeah. And, you know, there definitely is a little bit of like a humor barrier between yeah. like yeah. Aussie humor and, you know, states state side humor because yeah. like Aussies are just a little bit more intense. Yeah, and they they're, also they're actually like have a lot thicker you. skin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so there was probably a little bit of like lost in translation, but I yeah. also feel like it was, it was like she meant what she said. <laughs> yeah, just, which I, mean, I also I'm think back there. Probably, I know how loud we get. <laughs> like, we got like a tiny taste of it, like with uh, Laclo and, and Phelps back in like 2015. Um, but after that, it kind of like went absent a bit. And then, well, until Lily and uh, Efimova had very tiny um thing in 2016 um but then after that it kind of went a bit dry i think i might be missing something but yeah no i, I mean soon yang that, oh that yeah yeah thing thing with Mac Horton, thing. yeah um so there's always there's always something going on but i think kate's was was pretty good I, yeah I, we we need it more often we can't just have like once every other couple of years or so you know, yeah, um, and that's the tough thing or tough thing with swimming like yeah. in general is we do the big gaps, yeah. right? You know, we do the, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. And then and then it kind of fades away. Yeah. Um, but, you know, with the, the rise of like consistent media mm -hmm. and hopefully, you know, I think we're seeing a lot more events pop up and a little bit more depth and like, yeah. you know, it's, it's just a snowball effect. All it takes is one thing and then we get another thing and another thing and another thing. And yeah, I mean, I actually, I brought this story up before, but mm -hmm. I won't name him, even though I think I did in like another podcast or something. I had a, I think he was 13 at the time. And this is probably going to give it away. I had a 13 year old DM me mm -hmm. and like basically say, yo, watch my race today. And I was like, <laughs> Dude, if Are imagining you, myself calling my shot like that, he ended up breaking a national age group record yeah. by, and if you know anything about swimming, you know exactly who I'm talking about, yeah. by like three seconds. Yeah. And I was like, this kid's gonna be a problem yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the NCAA. <laughs> yeah. If he's DMing me calling his shot. And I mean, like, it's just even something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't even have to trash talk other people. You can yeah. be like, you know, imagine if Leon yeah. was like, I'm going to go under 330 in the 400 IM. It's like, yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. And then he goes 328 and he can be like, yeah, told yeah. you. But yeah, I agree. Yeah. Consistency. It's hard to, because because like when you do that, you like put it yourself in as well. Like if you don't do it, then you're just embarrassing yourself. And I, I, yeah. think, I think that's what like, um, I, I mean, like we mentioned, like UFC is like, good at i guess like for their sport um they're always trash talking but even if they lose like they just go back out and do it again <laughs> they're just yep. ramp it right back up yeah and yeah. i mean it's it's because they can get another fight in four months you yeah. know i yeah. think the thing with swimming is like you if you trash year, talk and then lose the olympics you're like oh, i'm gonna trash talk for the next four years yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would you look at that bobby fink does not give a about what you say about him in the swim swam comments section. If you like that Bobby Fink does not give a what you say about him in the swim swam comments section and that it makes him even more of a dog than he already was, well, go like the video, then drop a comment telling Bobby Fink he's a dog for not caring what people think about him online. Subscribe if you want more videos like this to pop up on your homepage, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Also, if you want to watch the full podcast that I did with Bobby Fink, it'll be linked up in the corner. See ya.